Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I wanted to give you guys an update and also tell you what we have going on today. Well, today we're going to do some cooking. Um, I am going to make a meal with TVP. We're probably going to make um, a traditional spaghetti dinner uh, with a little bit of garlic bread and also TVP. Um, the garlic bread is optional depending on if you're watching your calories and carbs um, and also depending on whatever you eat during the day. One of the things I do is when I want to have something like a little bit more carbs, I make sure throughout the day I don't I don't eat too many carbs. Uh, meaning I stay away from like almonds. I stay away from um, double portions of pasta. I stay away from um, certain fruits and um, that have a little bit more carbs. I just try to balance it out. That way I still be able to have the things that I want and desire. But at the same time, um, making sure I keep that level down not to not so down that I'm considered low carb totally or low cal totally totally but basically learning what works for me and as I as I have been losing weight for the past what year or so you guys um, I've learned what works for me and so just maintaining that actual um, amount that again works for me um, and the beauty is that you can find what works for you. We no longer have to succumb to just getting by and just floating by and just eating our life away. We don't have to do that. Um, it's a struggle every single day. It's sometimes days it's harder than others. And sometimes we are going to fail or fall. Um, but we get right back up, keep focus, um, have an agenda at hand, and um, continue to push forward. And that's what I do. You know, so um, hopefully I can inspire and encourage that and not show you perfection, but I can show you a woman that is not going to give in and not going to give up and not going to allow fat to beat me. Okay, so we're going to be cooking. Um, we're going to fix spaghetti uh, with TVP. So this will be a, yet another dish that you guys can fix with the TVP that I've been telling you guys about. You can get that uh, TVP at any of your Whole Foods stores, or you can even order it on Soap.com. I'm only mentioning them because I purchased it from there. Um, I paid for it from there, and they um, have the cheapest price as, uh, as far as because you're receiving two packages of it. So I have about, literally about eight packages of it. So I can, I literally have months and months worth of TVP. So... Um, this would be a great dish. It's going to be loaded with vitamins as far as the vegetables as well. Of course, it's going to have the uh, pasta, but we're going to use um, Dream Fields pasta, which is a lower carb pasta. It tastes absolutely the same, you guys. It's often not as cheap as regular spaghetti noodles, but um, you actually cut your carbs down probably about 75% by using it. And again, this is not just for someone that is just all low cal or low carb but just someone that wants to be mindful. So this is just um, telling you guys about that pasta, if in fact you don't know about it. Um, we're going to put a lot of vegetables in it. We're going to put some mushrooms, some green peppers, some yellow and um, orange peppers. We're going to use some onion. Uh, we're probably going to dice up a few, uh, a little bit of eggplant. Um, yeah, I have some Chinese eggplant. We're probably going to dice some of that up. Um, and I'll see what else I just throw in there. But um, as long as you dice it up really, really small, you guys, you get the nutritional value of the veggies, um, but you don't have to necessarily see them. For instance, when I use eggplant and things that, um, like the spaghetti, I almost puree it. The reason why is because I'm getting nutritional value, I'm bulking up the dish, and also I'm using um, vegetables that maybe would try to almost go bad in my refrigerator. And... At the same time, um, I don't have to see it, meaning I don't have to be like, oh, God, I'm eating, you know, vegetable spaghetti and not really real spaghetti. So if you puree it by the sauce being almost the same consistency of the pureed um, eggplant, you really don't know it's there. Also, we're probably going to puree or put some um, little dices of some yellow squash in it. So just giving you guys some... Um, some ideas of what you may can do and what you may can incorporate or how you can incorporate these things into your um, eating lifestyle or your journey. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about and give you updates on is the meet and greet. Many, many, many of you, I am so excited 
because many of you are going to come to the meet and greet and I am overly ecstatic about it um, as I told you guys I did a video yesterday so make sure you check that out because it will give you some details but this is just basically giving you a little bit more details um, as I told you guys it is going to be ten dollars for the meet and greet but in that ten dollars you're going to have buffet style you're going to be able to eat as much as you want whether that's food dessert um, drinks um, it's going to be unlimited everything so you don't have to worry about that it's going to be um, a huge variety of foods it's going to be Chinese um, Italian American all kinds of food from pizza to Salisbury steak to fried chicken to baked chicken to mashed potatoes to whatever you understand what I'm saying so needless to say you may want to put your diet on the back burner for this one yeah because although I'm still going to maintain my vegetarian lifestyle or status but I am definitely not worrying about my carb intake. I'm not going to eat no meat, but Mama's going to eat that day. Yes. Call me what you want. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's going to be really, really uh, good, you guys. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're going to, uh, it's, it's $10. So, again, it includes everything. And everybody that comes actually gets a gift bag from me. Uh, from the Big Cuz 52 family and um, the gift bag is going to be valued over $10 so basically it's a win-win situation um, so it's going to um, it's going to be definitely a great situation it's going to be a family event if you want to bring your children out you can um, if you want to bring your hubby out you can because mine will be there um, so it's it's you know I, I pride myself on the fact that um, you know you don't have to worry about pushing your kids out of the the, the room when I turn on when, when y'all turn on my video um, because that's just not my personality so this is just like my videos it's going to be a you know family event if you want to bring your teens or whoever out trust me there will be other people there so you don't have to worry about them being the only one um, Nene is going to come daddy's coming we're still on the fence about Pootie although many 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 people are already like well you can squeeze Pootie you got to bring Pootie Y'all run around with Pootie then. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so, um, it's just going to be a really fun, awesome event, you guys. Um, I am going to get some custom-made invitations made. I am going to get a custom-made banner and everything made, um, to hang so you guys will know. Because we have the actual banquet hall, um, the, the closed-off area. So, it's just for, it's going to be just for us. The other thing I didn't tell you guys is, and I'm basically updating you guys, is that we're going to have a professional photographer there. Um, so there will be pictures, um, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'll try to give you guys, uh, first of all, it's going to be, you know, recorded. So people that are not able to come, you'll be able to see everything, trust me. Um, and also, I will try to do um, some kind of slideshow or whatever. I don't know how to do those things, you guys, but... Um, my assistant on here, Black and Thick, will um, actually uh, do that for me. I know she's watching this video. Yeah, that's something else you're going to do. <laughs> so, Black and Thick, yeah. Um, we have some things to talk about. Um, so, I will be giving you a call um, sometime today. But anyway, um, I wanted to... Uh, what else I wanted to share with you guys? Chuck ran this past me. A lot of people are saying they're coming from out of town. They want to know the hotel information. What I'm going to do is I'm probably, instead of sending a message to everybody, I'm probably going to do a video specifically about some things that you can do while you're here. Hotel information, price ranges of the hotels. Because literally, literally right um, next to where we're holding the event, where we're going to have the meet and greet, it's probably within, like, I would say a block and a half. It's two hotels okay and within a I would say six block at max radius it's probably two more so it's definitely um, plenty of hotels around they're not trash hotels but they are reasonable and I will do a separate video giving you guys all that information giving you guys cab information um, that way everybody will have all this information handy and if they decide to still come then you know that will be um, available to you uh, with the invitations I will include um, some uh, directions 
uh, for you guys. So that's going to be all included in the invitation. Um, so yeah, so the photographer is going to be coming. Um, he's going to be taking pictures of all of us. I will show you guys all those pictures. And if, in fact, I can, if it's not too expensive, uh, with your thank you notes that I mailed to you guys for actually showing up and coming um, and how much we enjoyed ourselves, I will include a picture um, if you guys are in it with me or, you know, in the event, I will include a picture for you as well. So, um, yeah, if that's not too expensive, I'll do that. So, um, yeah, so the other thing is, very quickly before we start cooking, is Daddy ran this past me. A lot of the people that go, that are going to be coming uh, for a couple of days going to be coming for, from out of town, and they're going to be staying at the hotel. Daddy said it would be nice for us to give a cookout at my house, um, at our house, um, like the next day or so. So um, I'm thinking about doing that as well. So people that are coming from out of town not only will be able to spend the meet and greet time, but you'll be able to come to my home and have a cookout as well. So I think that'll be quite fun as well. Um, we probably will record there too. Um, Y'all already know how I do. But um, yeah, so that was Daddy's idea. I don't know if we're going to do it. It sounds good. Um, you guys tell me if it sounds good to you guys. Um, but that will be free. I will pay for all the food and everything. You don't have to pay for anything. Just a, another opportunity for us to chill together. And you can come to my house. Actually, the hotels that are in this area where the meet and greet is, literally from the hotel to my house is probably about $3 or $4. $4 max. Yeah. So it's not going to be expensive to get here. And most, more, more than likely, Chuck will come get y'all. So don't have that to worry about either so that'll be another thing for us to do um i'll try to invite some neighborhood men for you single women <laughs> i'm pretty sure once they see y'all walking up the walkway they yeah they probably gonna be like first of all they're gonna want to know what i'm cooking because y'all already know all the people in the neighborhood when i start cooking and if i'm cooking like in the outside or an event they coming they coming over okay so yeah and um no gutter men around here, so y'all have nothing to worry about. Um, although it's a couple of little thugs, but they, they respectful thugs to me, so um, you won't have to worry about that. But yeah, um, yeah, Chuck and Shore is that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so alright you guys, so I just wanted to fill you guys in, run some things past you, give you guys some updates on what um, is about to happen, and um, yeah, the meet and greet will be um, probably in the early part of May. Um, as you guys know, I told you my birthday is May the 2nd. Taurus in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also the uh, our wedding anniversary is what um, May the 4th. So, alright you guys. So, I will talk to you guys in a few. We're going to start cooking. It's around 1140 in the afternoon. And I wish you all a happy, happy Sunday. A blessed day. And let's start cooking. Alright you guys. Love you so much. Be blessed.